This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. Okay, so we're going to start with a case. A gentleman comes in from Philadelphia the night before. He shows into your ER. He is sedated. He is kind of comatose. He's not breathing very well. He's hypotensive. Okay, and he's covered in he's covered in these like really weird but gruesome uh, kind of sores on his arms. Okay, his buddy says that he's been using using drugs, usually fentanyl here. And what do you do? So he's got a GCS, let's say, of seven. So what medicine would you think of for someone like this right off the bat? Huh? Narcan. Yeah, great, Narcan. So you give him Narcan, doesn't wake up. You give him more Narcan, doesn't wake up. You're like, oh, well, maybe this is a high-potency fentanyl like carfentanil. So you give this guy a total of 16 milligrams of Narcan, and there's absolutely no change. Okay? So let's talk about a new drug that's kind of coming onto the market that's been focused mostly now around, uh, around Philadelphia and then also in some parts of the, of the kind of northeast. So it's a drug called Trank or Dope Trank, uh, and the official name is actually Xylothene. Okay? Um, so what this is is really significant is it works very different from the typical drugs, drugs of abuse we're seeing, where it's basically like a really high-potency clonidine. So it's very high alpha-2 agonist, okay? So it doesn't respond to naloxone or Narcan. And the big clues that you have sometimes with it, besides the sedation, are people will develop, if they're injecting, these really gruesome, gruesome uh, sores on their arms because I think it's either the preparation that they're using to create it uh, or the drug itself is really caustic to skin, okay? So we're not seeing a lot of it here in Colorado. Uh, the reversal is usually, I think at this point, all I know about is just supportive care. So sometimes you'll intubate them or resuscitate them, but there's no real reversal agent that's widely available. The thing that you sometimes see, though, is significant withdrawal. So if these people come out withdrawing uh, and they're restless and they feel like crap, um, you know, what would we usually treat that with? Or what do you think we could treat it with knowing the mechanisms of alpha-2? So there's one alpha-2 thing that we use oftentimes for blood pressures that are very high, right? Uh, we give it orally in the ED. It is clonidine. Did I hear someone say clonidine? Great. Well, whoever said clonidine, that is the right drug. So we're giving these patients often clonidine. And if they're really, really sick, you can even consider them putting them on Presidex if they're going to be admitted or going to the ICU or for whatever reason. Okay. So uh, hopefully we don't get that here in Colorado, but definitely something I've been hearing my friends in the East Coast start talking about more and more as something that's in their drug supply and making the management of people who struggle with opioid use disorders much more difficult. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division, and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.